Hello, Automation Empire community. I'm Sandwich Lizard, and I'm just going to make a little demo on how to make a simple uh, refinery setup, which in the long run uses no box makers. Um, we're going to use some just to get it loaded, and this is going to use remote connectors. Uh, I'll show an image of doing it without remote connectors after. And uh, it, the setup is basically the same, just bigger. So uh, I have a small mining operation here set up just for that purpose. So let's get to it. I'm going to set up my refineries in an alternating pattern, like so. I'm going to rotate them around so they're end to end. This setup should need 4.1 refineries, so I can do it with 5, but 6 is a nice even number, easy to work with. Again, I could use the other setup that I'm going to show to do just a fifth one. Now, so now we're just going to run belts. Why don't I have power? Let's get some power over here. Just going to run belts through each pair like this. Okay. Then we're going to put a piece of conveyor here. And our temporary box makers will go right here. Oh, this is where it's not overly particular, but I'm going to wait till the box makers stop running. And then pause the game. Some claw. What are these called? Transfer claws, right? Except a transfer claw on each one. And then we're going to unpause and wait for it to load up all of these. In the meantime, we're going to put some uh, transfer tubes in here. We're going to need at least one, uh, one on each that we're going to use right away. And then we're not going to put all of what we need until we're until it's completely done. I'm just going to leave it like that for now for keep it simple. Okay, so the transfer claw has stopped putting boxes on, so I'm going to pause it again and put the remote connectors on behind these. Now we're going to let them cook. This is a phrase I like to use. We're going to let this fill all of these and cook all of these until it just starts spinning around. And there's some benefits to doing this. One, we're going to be able to get rid of the box makers once this is loaded. Two, finished material will never get thrown away if your output gets full. Uh, and you just have to remember that if you're refining coal, not to hook water up to the building because the coal will keep circulating through and you'll end up with carbon. <laughs> Unless you want carbon. <laughs> so this is the cooking cycle. We're just going to wait for it to do its thing. While that's cooking, I don't know, I'll, I'll just stay here and watch it. So, just do this. It will put more box makers on, or more boxes on. It'll make space as it, the material compresses in refineries. I believe there'll be one more that gets added. But I just leave the box maker there until it's done um, filling up. May have added all the boxes it needs. It's just stuck in the refinery right now. There we go. 
Okay, they're done cooking. So it should come out something like that. I'm just going to pause this. And we will delete these. We don't need those anymore. And we'll add another input tube for this refinery. And then we'll put pickup tubes for all the refineries. And blue is the color I chose for this. And it's done. It's running. Good to go. That's it. You can get rid of the box maker entirely. And if the output gets full, this will just keep circulating full of refined material. So it's very responsive. Um, without using uh, unload belts, you never have to set them to destroy all boxes and throw away refined material. And then ultimately destroy all of your input ore while your output is full. This will keep the input ore full, the output full, if you're not using it. Nothing gets thrown away. You don't have the electricity use of the box makers at all. So that saves you on power and tax and money. And uh, that doesn't save taxes literally, but the game lumps the two things together. So that's that's uh, that's how I do it. And to do it without remote connectors, we'll just cruise over here to a uh, gold mine I made, a gold setup I made before I had them. So. All the inputs are up here. It's a little pricey because I'm using so many of these input buckets, but this is you just do it with single <laughs> belts, such as this. I'm going to be updating this one. Uh, I need a couple more refineries, and I'm going to add water to this, which I'm about to do. So, there you go, guys. How to just do the same thing with this setup. You just have a claw maker or a box maker putting the boxes in. Your, your inputs here, you don't don't connect the this thing here, the, the transfer tube, leave that off until it's full of boxes, then just stick that down, let it run till it cooks, and then you can put your output tubes. Done. Once again, really small setup. Totally expandable. You can put a one to as many as you need. Cool. Enjoy.